and for a member of the Miami Heat, Myers Leonard. My brother joined the Marine Corps because of 9-11. When he left for the first time, I remember feeling scared and lost because he was like a father figure to me. Our father's birthday was 9-11. He passed when I was six. This day is never easy. God bless America. Myers Leonard joins us uh, from Orlando tonight. And I, I really, truly appreciate you taking the time because I know it's, I know it's a tough day uh, on, on different fronts for you. But take me through um, what 9-11 meant to you as you were, I guess, nine years old at the time. Your older brother Bailey was 11. Um, and how this led him into joining the Marines. Well, obviously, this day for me is very emotional. Um, it just hits me in a different way. And also, it's a very tragic day in United States history. You know, so many innocent lives were lost, and it also uh, took us to war. But like you said, and as I mentioned in that tweet, my brother joined the United States Marine Corps because of 9-11 and my deep connection to the military because of my brother and for many others who I'm very close with is why this day means so much to me. And um, as the Miami Heat tweeted, you know, we should always continue to honor those people and the first responders and everyone involved because there are many, many families who are still mourning the losses of their loved ones. And that's why this day is, is often very, very difficult for me. And um, also it's my father's birthday who passed when I was young. But we stay strong and we continue to move forward. I know that uh, it was more than a big brother, little brother relationship with Bailey. Uh, as you mentioned, kind of a, a father figure uh, for you. And I hope it's okay that we bring him into this conversation, uh, Myers, uh, from your uh, hometown of Robinson, Illinois. Um, <laughs> Surprise again, little brother. I'm here. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell, I love you. Bailey, you I tell me. You. you tell me what your little brother means to you and what, uh, and what this day means to you as a member of the United States Marine Corps. My little brother. I'll tell you what. He may be about eight inches taller than me, <laughs> bigger than me, but I respect my younger brother more than almost anybody else who walks on this planet. I really do. For the things he does off the court, for one, carrying himself in the highest regard and not wanting, not wanting anything extra for the actions he takes just for being a good person. I mean that 100% with every fiber of my being. My little brother is a good person. He has a good heart. He has no malicious intent towards anybody, no matter their color, creed, religion. He does it to help people, and that's the bottom line. You know, no, Myers, this, I, uh, Myers, I just want to give you a lot of credit because y'all thought you were so passionate and eloquent when you were talked about why you were standing for the national anthem, and that took some tremendous courage. So I just want to say thank you for carrying yourself. Your brother just said it with great respect and dignity because I know there's a lot of pressure on players today, uh, but, but for you to hold your ground and say your piece, I just want to commend you on that. Chuck, thank you very much. I have to say that your words uh, certainly mean a lot to me. Um, you know, obviously a lot of people watch you guys and, and they listen when you guys speak. And uh, leading up to my decision to stand for the anthem caused a lot of heartache because I know what the military means to me and what my brother means to me and the fact that he put, you know, his life on the line, uh, two tours in Afghanistan. And so... I spoke with many teammates, you know, I spoke with Miami Heat organization, I spoke to the people who I'm close with, and many, many members of the military, obviously, including my brother. And it wasn't an easy decision because I truly do understand 
and see what is going on in America right now. It is, it's sad and it's wrong. And I truly do live my life to respect others and love everyone. That's how I was raised. That's who I am. And having been around African American culture for many, many years because of the AAU circuit, all the way through high school into college and now the NBA, I've seen teammates be impacted by this. I've seen their families be impacted by these things. And it hurts me. But at the same time, I always, or I tend to base my decisions on real life experience and the real and raw emotion that I feel when I hear that anthem and I think about my brother Bailey sending me photos back home when he was away um, and not knowing you know, always how he was doing, that is raw emotion to me. And I'm sure that's the same way that many of my teammates and their families and many people around this country feel when there are hateful acts um, happening to their people. And so that's why I, I felt the need to explain myself and, and I feel as though I did. Um, but also I will continue to, excuse me, continue to use my platform um, to bring awareness uh, to these situations because I, I truly know that uh, silence is compliance and I need to speak up. I need to be a powerful voice behind this movement. And um, I'm also proud to say that my wife and I um, gave a considerable amount of money to the city of Miami uh, to two primarily African-American communities because they were absolutely crushed by voter suppression and COVID. And I want to be impactful and show others that I'm not only talking about it, I'm going to be about it. And so uh, thank you for saying that, Chuck. Miles, you know, and uh, both of you guys, honestly, you know, growing up together, you know, you know, you're only two years apart, you said. How did that relationship become dad, so to speak, <laughs> for two years apart, you know, and, and, and what was the building blocks of that? And, um, and how did you prepare, because you've been on two tours in Afghanistan, how did you prepare him for being in somewhat of a bubble down in Orlando? I can first start off by saying that, um, you know, growing up, we, we had our differences, you know, we fought, we did that whole thing, but I can remember vividly the day uh, that Bailey was leaving for the Marine Corps. Uh, he hadn't told me because he knew that he was like a father figure to me. He knew I counted on him for his support. And although I am you know, seven feet tall at the time, I wasn't quite that tall, but I've, I've always been the taller individual. He was the one guarding me and my heart. And I remember looking in the driveway and some car that I had never seen before pulled up in it. And uh, a gentleman got out of the car and he came and knocked on the front door. Well, I was the, I was the one in the living room. So I answered it and here comes Bailey walking in the living room with... Uh, I believe two duffel bags and a backpack on his back. I'll say, where are you going? And uh, he said, Myers, I've decided that I want to fight for our country and join the United States Marine Corps. Now I'm leaving today. That was one of the hardest days of my life. I, uh, I'm already an emotional human being. Bailey is not, you know, that's why he's always been the protector of me. But uh, I just went, I remember going to my room and crying for, I, I mean, it must have been a minimum of 30 minutes. So. He's always been that person for me um, because we have had hardship, but I truly feel as though that is what's made us the men that we are, and that's why our, our bond is so strong. Number one, thank you for your service. Uh, yes. Having uh, my late father was a, was a Marine in World War II, uh, so the utmost respect I have for you and, and 